The Monk and the Philosopher is a thought-provoking dialogue between a father and son that delves into the fundamental questions of life. In this video, we will explore seven valuable lessons that can be learned from this enlightening book. 1. Finding Harmony Between Eastern and Western Philosophies Finding harmony between Eastern and Western philosophies is a central lesson in The Monk and the Philosopher, urging readers to transcend cultural boundaries. By exploring both perspectives, readers can gain a deeper understanding of the world and themselves. The book emphasizes the importance of openness and respect towards different philosophical traditions. Through dialogue and exchange, it becomes possible to integrate diverse ideas and beliefs. The lesson encourages readers to embrace the richness and complexity of both Eastern and Western thought. Finding harmony between the two philosophies can lead to a more holistic and inclusive worldview. This lesson invites readers to engage with diverse perspectives without privileging one over the other. It suggests that true wisdom lies in the ability to appreciate different ways of thinking. Ultimately, finding harmony between Eastern and Western philosophies can enrich one's intellectual and spiritual growth. 2. Embracing the Concept of Impermanence Embracing the concept of impermanence teaches us to appreciate the fleeting nature of all things, fostering a sense of gratitude for the present moment. It reminds us that change is inevitable and encourages us to let go of attachments to things that are temporary. By acknowledging impermanence, we can learn to live more mindfully, savoring each experience as it comes. This lesson can help us cultivate resilience in the face of life's ups and downs, knowing that both joy and suffering are impermanent. Embracing impermanence also allows us to release fear of the unknown, as we understand that nothing lasts forever. Through this teaching, we can find peace in accepting the transient nature of life and find freedom in detachment from what is impermanent. It encourages us to focus on what truly matters and let go of what no longer serves us, leading to a more fulfilling and meaningful existence. By understanding impermanence, we can better navigate change and develop a deeper appreciation for the beauty of imperfection. Embracing impermanence is a key step towards finding inner peace and contentment in a constantly evolving world. 3. The Importance of Self-Reflection and Inner Peace Self-reflection and inner peace are emphasized throughout the monk and the philosopher, highlighting the importance of introspection and tranquility. The book showcases how self-reflection can lead to personal growth and deep understanding of one's thoughts and emotions. Inner peace is portrayed as essential for maintaining mental well-being and clarity in decision-making. Through the dialogue between the monk and the philosopher, readers are encouraged to contemplate their own beliefs and values. The lesson emphasizes the significance of cultivating a peaceful mind to navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom. Self-reflection is depicted as a powerful tool for gaining insight into one's actions and motivations. Inner peace is presented as a state of harmony that allows individuals to respond thoughtfully to external circumstances. The book suggests that by cultivating inner peace, one can find a sense of balance and serenity amidst the complexities of life. Overall, the monk and the philosopher underscores the profound impact of self-reflection and inner peace on one's personal development and well-being. 4. Cultivating Compassion and Empathy Towards Others Cultivating compassion and empathy towards others involves putting yourself in someone else's shoes, understanding their perspective, and showing kindness and understanding. It requires developing the ability to feel and relate to the emotions of others, even when they may be different from your own. Compassion allows for greater connection and unity with others, fostering a deeper sense of community and belonging. Empathy enables you to respond to others with sensitivity and care, creating stronger relationships and a more harmonious environment. By practicing compassion and empathy, you can learn to forgive and let go of resentment, leading to a more peaceful and fulfilling life. 
It is important to cultivate these qualities in order to promote harmony, understanding, and cooperation within your relationships in society as a whole. Compassion and empathy can help you navigate conflicts and disagreements with a sense of understanding and respect for differing viewpoints. These qualities also help to foster a sense of gratitude and appreciation for the diversity and richness of human experiences. Ultimately, cultivating compassion and empathy towards others allows you to contribute to a more compassionate and empathetic world where understanding and kindness prevail. 5. Balancing Material Wealth with Spiritual Fulfillment Balancing material wealth with spiritual fulfillment is a central theme in The Monk and the Philosopher. It emphasizes the importance of finding a harmonious equilibrium between the two aspects of life. Material wealth can provide comfort and security, but it is not the sole source of true happiness. Spiritual fulfillment, on the other hand, involves finding meaning and purpose beyond the material realm. The lesson suggests that one should strive to cultivate both material and spiritual aspects in order to lead a balanced and fulfilling life. It encourages readers to reflect on their values and priorities to achieve a sense of inner peace and contentment. By balancing material wealth with spiritual fulfillment, individuals can experience a greater sense of fulfillment and well-being. The lesson highlights the idea that true prosperity comes from finding a balance between the material and spiritual dimensions of life. It underscores the importance of not becoming overly attached to material possessions as they can distract from deeper spiritual truths. The monk and the philosopher challenges readers to reconsider their relationship with wealth and spirituality, prompting them to seek a more holistic and integrated approach to living. 6. Embracing the Power of Mindfulness in Meditation Embracing the power of mindfulness and meditation is a crucial lesson in the monk and the philosopher as it teaches the importance of being present in the moment. Mindfulness allows individuals to quiet the mind and focus on the now, which can lead to a greater sense of peace and clarity. Meditation, on the other hand, is a powerful tool for self-reflection and inner growth. By incorporating mindfulness and meditation into our daily lives, we can cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. These practices can help us manage stress, anxiety, and other negative emotions more effectively. Additionally, mindfulness and meditation have been shown to improve overall mental health and well-being. Through consistent practice, individuals can develop a greater sense of connection to themselves and others. The power of mindfulness in meditation lies in their ability to bring us back to the present moment, where true peace and happiness reside. It is a journey of self-discovery and self-awareness that can lead to profound personal transformation. By embracing these practices, we can tap into a source of inner strength and wisdom that will guide us through life's challenges. 7. Nurturing a Sense of Gratitude and Appreciation for Life Nurturing a sense of gratitude and appreciation for life is a key lesson in The Monk and the Philosopher. It teaches us to be thankful for all the blessings and opportunities that come our way. Gratitude allows us to focus on the positive aspects of life and shift our mindset towards abundance. By appreciating the simple things in life, we can find joy and contentment in the present moment. Cultivating a sense of gratitude can improve our overall well-being and mental health. It helps us to see the beauty in everyday moments and not take things for granted. Practicing gratitude can also strengthen our relationships and create a sense of connection with others. It encourages us to be more mindful and present in our daily interactions. Gratitude reminds us to celebrate our successes and learn from our challenges. Overall, nurturing a sense of gratitude and appreciation for life can lead to a more fulfilling and meaningful existence. Thank you so much for joining me today on this journey through the pages of The Monk and the Philosopher. I hope you found the lessons and insights on the book both engaging and informative. 
If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth book lessons and insights. Until our next literary escapade, happy reading, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and stay inspired.